Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on Hadoop. In today's session, we will see what are the commands used for the yarn service, or rather, how can I access yarn service through the command line? As like HDFS DFS command, which is associated with the HTTP service, we have the yarn command for the accessing the yarn service. So if you want to check the version of the yarn which is installed on the current node, you can use the command yarn version. So it will print what is the current version of the yarn on this node or on this environment. The next command is applications list. So how can you access the various yarn applications? So you can use the yarn application then hyphen list. So it will list all the applications install on this machine if you see the what are the default state it is submitted accepted and running so these are the default state states available for the yarn now let's see what are the services which are finished so you can use yarn to check that application minus list minus app it's finished so it will give us what are the services or what are the components which are finished in this yarn service you can see the state as a finished now suppose if you want to generate a list of nodes which are running the node manager daemon you know to get that you can use yarn it should be in the small case it is can sensitive node hyphen list so it will list the node where the node manager daemon is running now there is one more action also suppose if if you want to use the resource manager you can access that resource manager or suppose before going to or jump into that if you want to check the logs, you can have that command yarn logs pipe and you can give the command more. So it will give us idea how to use this command and it will give the current logs of the yarn. We can scroll down to this information. Nothing the option that can be applied with this command once an application ID is provided. Or simply we can press Q to quit this. So, if you if you are done, we can quit. You can use the Q button, uh, Q character to to quit. Now let's go so see a little more the resource manager related activity through the yarn. So you can use a yarn. If you give the yarn resource manager, it will start the resource manager. Currently, it is already running, so I'm not going to hit this. If you want to see the logs which are related to the resource manager, then you can use a yarn daemon log minus get level node one eight zero eighty eighty. We know the eighty eight is um, eighty eighty eight is a node a port for the yarn resource manager. So it will find us the logs which are associated with this resource manager if you want if you want to find out the group the HDFS users belongs to the command is yarn rm admin get groups hdfs so it will give us the group name so this is the group hadoop hdfs the command which need to run as a built-in yarn user to switch to user before moving is su if you want to go to the yarn currently it is root right so if you want to move to the yarn you have to use switch user yarn so it will switch to the yarn user you can see if you want to refresh node okay so how can you refresh use the yarn rm admin and then refresh node so it will refresh the nodes 
actually the n is capital so because it is case sensitive make sure it is appropriate once you're done with that you can exit it so it will exit and it will come as a root now suppose you want to call APIs so as like the HDFS service API we have the YAN APIs also so how can I access as if you remember for the HDFS we have the curl command for the YAN API also we have the curl command curl minus x then the gate that is the operation HTTP colon forward to forward slash node 1 port is 8088 web service that is WS v1 cluster info so we will get the info so this is the information about the YAN if you want to get a uh, generate the cluster matrix information such as number of completed applications or the resources available and decommissioned node the command you can use is cur minus x get http forward slash node 1 because my current date is installed on the node 1 8088 for list and the v1 as previous node cluster and here instead of info we have to use matrix so it will give us the matrix available for completed applications resource available and the decommissioned node now suppose you want to generate a cluster scheduler information such as what are the queues uh, what is capacity available what is the maximum number of applications allowed the command you can use is again it's a curl minus x get I think by now you you are able to understand this syntax HTTP node 1 the port is same as previous WS v1 cluster and here you can use schedule scheduler so it will give us the idea about the queues available capacity maximum number of applications allowed now suppose you want to generate the information on the cluster application such as application id and its status how can you do that just change the scheduler with the apps so it will give us all the uh, application ids and its a status next thing if you want to generate the cluster information on the node uh, on the cluster node such as host name status software version and the application search resources you can just change the apps with the nodes it will give us all those details if you want to generate the information about the node one you can use the instead of cluster now it is not related to the cluster it's related to the node so you can use the node and you'll find the info currently it's uh, giving some error but that that is the way we actually access let's try with this node apps okay currently it is no okay node one okay the reason why it is giving the error is the node runs on the different port so it is runs on the 8242 so this is the app is null it was node apps it should be correct okay it's fine so it's a 8040 currently it is not giving any result so these are the commands by which we can able to access the various information about uh, the yarn through the api so we can access through the different way we can access to the command prompt we can access through the ambari and we can access to the uh, this apis i hope this command line editor will help you to understand the how to access the yarn can uh, yarn service through this command line operators uh, thank you for watching my video and if you are looking for the more interesting video on the hadoop you can subscribe my channel thank you and have a nice time